The amount of comments I get asking for a Cold War settings video is just ridiculous. So here we are. We're making a Cold War settings video and the settings are pretty similar to Warzone, but let's just get right into it. Okay, so starting with Windows settings, make sure you guys double check these settings after like Windows updates and stuff because some of these settings can get reset, which is kind of annoying. But we're gonna start with background apps. So just go to your search bar and type in background apps. I do have caps on for some reason, just click that and you're gonna have this screen pop up and you're gonna want to check off let apps run in the background we don't want all these apps running in the background while we're gaming that's gonna impact performance so we can click out of that here and the next thing we're gonna actually want to do is open up google chrome and once you get into google chrome here you're gonna see the three dots in the top right you're gonna want to click that and it'll bring down this drop down menu and from there we're gonna want to click on settings from the settings page you're gonna want to scroll all the way down and you're gonna see advanced so so click that and then keep scrolling all the way down again till you see system right here and under system it's gonna say continue running background apps when Google Chrome is closed you're gonna have to uncheck this as well because even with the background apps unchecked Google Chrome will still be running in the background even if it's closed which is really annoying and can definitely impact performance once done with that we're gonna go down to the search bar again and we are just gonna search for power and you're gonna see power and sleep settings right here so just click that and it'll bring this menu up so from here we're just gonna go to additional power settings and you might have to click the little drop down box to show additional plans but you're gonna want to select high performance right here from there we can just close out of all this and we're gonna go back to our search bar and we're gonna search for game mode and you're gonna see game mode settings right here so just click that and you're gonna want to make sure that game mode is checked on and then on the right side here you're gonna see graphic settings so click on that and you're gonna want to check this on as well under where it's says hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. The majority of you guys are gonna experience a very slight performance boost from this and a very, very small percentage of you guys could actually experience some stutters with this turned on. So if you're experiencing stutters, just turn this off and keep in mind that you do have to restart your PC for these changes to take effect. So once we're done with all the settings here, just make sure you are resetting your PC. And then we're all done with that and we can get into the Nvidia control panel. If you don't have an Nvidia graphics card, just skip ahead in the video a little bit there will be timestamps and stuff down below but i'm sure most of you guys know that you just right click your desktop and click nvidia control panel and that's how you bring it up there now starting at the top we are going to click on adjust image settings with preview and you're going to want to make sure this middle box is checked here where it says use the advanced 3d settings and then you're going to go over here to the left side where it says manage 3d settings we're going to click that and you're going to want to just copy all my settings here i'm just going to scroll through them kind of slow for you guys just make sure these are all copied. Um, there is a couple places where it's going to be changed for you. For example, under OpenGL rendering GPU here, you're going to want to just select your GPU under that drop down. And then I just want to point out this low latency mode. I know a lot of people will put this on ultra. You don't want to put that on ultra because that can actually cause like stuttering and stuff in some games. So I really, really recommend against putting that on ultra and just putting this on on. From there, we're going to go over to change resolution and make sure it's under the pc here and you have your native resolution for me it's 2560 by 1440 for the majority of you guys it's going to be 1920 by 1080 but make sure you're under pc here because if you're scrolled up under the ultra hd stuff you're not going to be able to change your refresh rate to like 144 or 240 if you have a high refresh rate monitor although i do think 4k monitors would fall under this category but i don't have any experience with any 4k monitors to be honest so every monitor for probably 99% of you guys out there, you're going to want to be under this PC option here and have your right resolution selected. And then this is where you change your refresh rate. So obviously you just want to make sure the highest refresh rate possible is selected. We're going to be scrolling down here and you're going to see use Nvidia color settings. So have that selected. And then under output dynamic range here, just change this from limited to full. Then going back to the left side, we're going to go to adjust desktop color settings. Now, if you scroll down here, you're going to see digital vibrance so if your game's looking a little washed out the colors aren't popping up as much you can uh, adjust this setting and as you can see everything on my desktop just got super vibrant and colorful so it's really going to depend on your monitor if it looks kind of washed out you might want to adjust this but i just keep it on the default 50 because my monitor already looks pretty colorful and i like the way it looks now from there we're going to be going back over to the left side and we're going to be clicking on adjust desktop size and position and for each of your monitors 
monitors that you have under scaling here you're going to want to select no scaling and then again under resolution and, and refresh rate just make sure these are both correct and always apply your changes after you're changing all this stuff and then finally we can go to the adjust video color settings and we're going to select with nvidia settings here and then you're going to click on the advanced tab and switch this from limited to full and you're going to want to do that with all of your monitors and again make sure you are applying your changes and we are all done with the nvidia control panel and i know a lot of people are always asking about this wallpaper in the comments so just go to hogwartslegacy.com you can get the wallpaper over there just a heads up for those who are always asking but let's just get right into the in-game graphic settings okay for the in-game graphic settings starting with display mode as always i highly recommend playing on full screen because you're going to get the least amount of input lag possible with this setting i know a lot of people like to play on windowed full screen but you are going to be getting a bit of input lag with that setting so i highly recommend not using it unless you need to be tabbing out during the middle of the game all the time for whatever reason under monitor this one's just kind of obvious you just select whatever monitor you want to play on and then for refresh rate make sure you have the highest number possible selected right here for gameplay and menu vsync you always want vsync disabled that's going to just give you more input lag and we do not want input lag yes i know vsync can fix some screen tearing issues so if you're having screen tearing and it's really bothering you you could enable vsync but i really really recommend not doing that because it's going to add unnecessary input lag and personally i'd rather have screen tearing over the input lag from vsync then we got nvidia reflex low latency which i would recommend just putting this on normal although this is something you could test out for yourself because this is going to vary between system to system but you could try enabled plus boosted here but some people are going to experience a lot of like stuttering and stuff with this so i just recommend putting it on normal enabled but you could test this out for yourself render resolution you just want this at 100 display resolution just make sure you have your correct resolution selected here for the majority of you guys you're probably on 1080p so you're gonna have 1920 by 1080 if you're on 1440p you're gonna have 2560 by 1440 aspect ratio i have just set to automatic then scrolling down here we have my field of view which i play on 120 field of view is kind of personal preference though so whatever field of view looks and feels best to you i recommend just playing on that setting for me i like maxing out my field of view i have my ads field of view and vehicle aiming field of view both unaffected and for those who don't know what affected versus independent is affected basically makes it so if you ads with like the mp5's iron sights your field of view is unchanged but if you're on independent and you ads with those iron sights it's going to ads all the way to ad fov so it's going to always be adsing to the default fov and it's going to be zooming in a lot more if you put it on the independent setting i really recommend affected because it's going to make it look like you have a lot less visual recoil making it easier to aim but again this is kind of a personal preference setting for frame rate limit i like to set this to unlimited i want to push my pc to the limits and get as many frames as possible but then i set the menu custom frame rate limit and the minimized game frame rate limit both to 60 so if i'm just sitting in the menus here it's not running at a ridiculous amount of fps and just making my pc overwork for no reason scrolling down a bit here we have the texture quality which i put on medium model quality i put on medium as well special effects quality on medium again screen space reflection disabled object view distance we have on high i want to see everything no matter how far away it is so make sure you have object view distance on high if you're really really having performance issues still even after this video you could turn the setting down but you're not going to really be able to see as much in the distance so water tessellation we have disabled and then scrolling down a little bit here we have volumetric lighting which i have on low shadow quality we have on low shadows are something that's going to really really tank your frame rate so we want to keep this on low dynamic shadows special effects shadows weapon shadows we have all of this disabled guys most of these settings will not impact how your game's gonna look at all i promise you having a lot of this stuff disabled it's just gonna be boosting your fps without really changing how your game looks so scrolling down we have ray tracing we want all these disabled ray tracing is the biggest biggest hog for performance if you do have these options some of you guys may not have ray tracing options so they'll be disabled already anyways because you can't even use ray tracing but if you have the option make 
make sure these are disabled like i said huge performance hog and these ray tracing options when you turn them on the game really doesn't even look all that different scrolling down we have nvidia dlss which personally i have disabled if you're playing at 1080p i would recommend disabling this it's not going to do a whole lot if you're playing 1440p or 4k you could mess around with this setting if you're still not seeing the performance you want after changing all these settings so if you don't have the best graphics card in the world and you're playing on 1440p or 4k i would highly recommend trying out either the balanced or the quality quality options here and seeing what works best for you but for my system it runs perfectly fine and I get the amount of frames I'm looking for with it disabled but if you are playing at 1440p and 4k I really really recommend you uh, test these out for yourself and see what looks the best and runs the best on your system anti-aliasing is another setting that's going to really really hog your frames now a lot of people don't like the look of the game with anti-aliasing disabled and I completely understand that it kind of makes everything look like like it's kind of got like jagged more jagged edges around it but then again having anti-aliasing disabled definitely improves your visibility if you don't like the way it looks i would just recommend going all the way up to ultra or high to be honest that's going to give you a much better look and completely get rid of those jagged edges these lower settings aren't going to really get rid of the jagged edges all that much so if you don't like the look of anti-aliasing disabled just use higher ultra if your pc can handle it but keep in mind putting this setting up is really going to impact your performance so just use disabled but if you really really can't deal with how the game looks then don't even mess with the lower settings just go straight to higher ultra with this then ambient occlusion quality disabled motion blur we do not want motion blur that's really going to make the visibility in the game terrible we do not want motion blur motion blur quality when you disable motion blur this isn't going to matter so you can just leave this at whatever uh subsurface scattering we have disabled order independent transparency we have disabled and then we got vram usage target here now for my system i have this on high and it works perfectly fine what this setting is doing is changing how much vram you're allowing the game to use on my pc having it on high it works completely fine but for some of you if you put this on high you might start experiencing some stutters and stuff like that so you may have to turn this down to the default setting and if you're still having stutters you could even lower this down to the low setting but i recommend going up as high as possible as you can on your pc without getting stuttering in the game display gamma we just have on the default computer srgb and then display adapter i just have on auto select it'll just auto select whatever gpu you have and that's it that's all the graphics settings so i hope this video helps some of you guys out out there if you did make sure you subscribe we're almost at 30,000 subscribers which is just incredible and make sure you drop a like on the video if it helped as well i'd really appreciate that just a reminder i'm also almost at a thousand followers over on twitter so if you want to drop a follow over there i'd really appreciate that as well and another reminder that i do stream a lot over on twitch link is in the description it's just webzy on twitch so come say what's up in chat sometime and i'll see you guys in the next video here's the web peace